volcanic eruption are dominant natural resources of the tropospheric soil fatal resource and have a strong impact on global climate. Over the decades, the impact of volcanic sulfate aerosol on the climate are received immense interest due to the strong cooling effect on the Earth's lower atmospheric and warming effect on the lower troposphere. The database uses our cosmic professional data in the present study, high resolution temperature profile obtained from the Cosmic 2 mission are utilized during January 2020. The Cosmic 2 mission, launched on the 25th of June 2019, collects more than 5,000 arrows surrounding per, per day over tropics and subtropics. An ozone monitoring instrument, or OMI, has data to geographically identify the area covered by volcanic plum. They use the operational product estimate of the column density of S2O from the middle tropospheric column. Data from the Aurora Ozone Monitoring Instrument. On the result, SO2 observation, figure 2 shows the evolution of the ON observed middle tropospheric SO2 column between 13 and 18 of January 2020, along with the ANSAP reanalyzes background winds at 150 HPA. The evidence that immediately after the eruption in the afternoon on 12 and 13 of January, the entire plump at the upper level and the atmosphere moved towards the northeast from the source region. Due to strong wind background, the significant SO2 signal during 19 and 20 of January over this region with the less magnitude. Overall, the SO2 release from the Taal volcanic eruption in the afternoon on 12 and 13 of January transported through the upper level strong winds and into the strong anticyclone over the Pacific Ocean in the northern hemisphere.